Hello. Thanks for stopping by to view the work front to Jira, put it forward, integrated. From within the connector itself, you can create or integrate simple as well as complex business use cases. This information flows or can be integrated back and forth between Workfront and Jira together. Let's take a look into the application itself. Once we've logged in, we can see the application and where these creations of connectors can take place. When we select and create the name, we can make it active upon creation, notification based on changes, as well as the ability to persist logs. The data is then batched based on the row type. Whether it's 10 to 1 million rows, you can select the amount of information that is integrated at once. From within scheduling, you can do every hour, every day, or every month. Perhaps even custom and you're looking to go real time? That's not a problem at all. Put it forward has the ability to create just that scenario. Once we've selected a schedule, we can then move on by selecting save on the connector. The connector itself is not yet ready to go. From within here, we can jump into the designer and we can begin to select or configure properties. As you know, we do take the configuration over code approach, so selecting drop downs and their appropriate information is easy within the tool itself. As we are doing work front, we will select it. All of the information is gathered based on the API. We can log in with the domain, use the API key as well as credentials to enter in. As long as information is exposed to said API, information may be populated from within and specific to your instance of Workfront. As you can see here, we're taking a project and its description and name. But in taking a look just a little bit further, as we scroll down quite a bit, we can then see that we do have custom objects related to our instance. This would be just the same to yours. Once we're plugged in with your credentials and your API key, this would be specific to yours. And moving on, we select Jira as the destination. We do just the same here. Once you've seen one side, you've seen them both. We input information based on a URL as well as credentials. For Jira specifically, we use open authorization. In selecting the properties, we know that we want to integrate a project to project. Now what this is saying from a base level is that any information from any side of these applications can be integrated. Once we selected the appropriate properties, we create the connector. Now let's take a look and create a quick project within Workfront. I'm just going to select New Project. And from with the new project, I'm going to give it a name and a description. Let's go ahead and do demo project one. I'm going to go ahead and add a description in here as well in case we want to integrate that. I select description. I'm going to input demo project description. Now once I've gone and saved this, I can move along to the connector with Input It Forward itself, and I can go ahead and run it. As you can see here, the current project is not listed or has not been integrated yet. I simply click on the connector and I click Run. The great thing about Put It Forward is that this can always run in the background, integrating information as it moves along and on the fly. You don't have to create these scenarios over and over again. As you can see here, it's still not. Let's refresh the page and it should appear. As you can see, we now have Demo Project 1 ready and available for us. What this means is that information can move on the fly between these two applications. There's no reason for your typical business users to run back and forth between these two, hoping to manually input or hoping to share information. With the tool itself, you now have all of your information automated and integrated. I'd like to appreciate you for coming by and watching the video. We hope to hear from you soon.